Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to make mashed cauliflower. Not potatoes, but mashed cauliflower potatoes if you want to call it that. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to steam our cauliflower. And I have a steamer and I filled the water up halfway full and I approximately um, let it steam for between 12 to 15 minutes and it's not too soggy, it still has a little bit of firmness to it. So that's what we will do for now. So we'll put the timer on. You can also use a like a little colander in a pot and put some water in the bottom and set it inside and steam it that way also if you don't happen to have a steamer. And I picked this one up at Giant Tiger and I think it cost me like $25 for this, this uh, steamer and it's coming really, really handy. So I'll put it at 15 and I'll just kind of check it after 12 minutes and see how it goes. So my cauliflower is all steamed and now we're going to break it up and we're going to put it in my Ninja and, and mix it all up. Quite hot. Now my husband loves this. We don't even have potatoes anymore. We find that when we add all the ingredients into the cauliflower that he just finds it's a nicer flavor and you can still put gravy on it or whatever you're going to do when you're, you're um, eating your mashed cauliflower. No potato, mashed potato cauliflower. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have herbamere and it's an organic spice. It has no carbs in it and I just love this spice. It's a zesty. Um, they have original and they have zesty and I love this spice and I'm just going to put a bunch in here. Now I'm not measuring. I just kind of know how much to put in and you do it till taste. So you can just um, put as much in as you'd like. Another thing that you could do and I work a little harder at using my Ninja um, to grind it up because I don't add the milk but you can add in this almond breeze just like mashed potatoes you need a little bit of liquid it's up to you there's hardly any carbs in it and it's a good product to use also but I'm not going to use it this time because we like it without it doesn't really matter so so I'm just going to squish this down a bit to get it in between the blades and then I have a quarter cup of butter that we're going to put in here and it'll melt because we've got the cauliflower is is still very hot. I probably could have cubed it up and put it in and made that a little bit easier but I'll just do it this way. And we'll put the lid on and what's going to happen is because I didn't put the almond breeze in there I'm going to be turning it off and then just using my spatula and moving stuff around to make sure I get it all um, mixed together. Now I stopped it in between once, we didn't film that part, and I, and I stirred it up and ran it again. I'm just going to check it one more time and I'm going to just turn it on one more time. So basically you're just going in and you're moving it around. It looks pretty good but I just want to do it one more time to make sure I got all the lumps out of it. So I'm going to turn it on one more time. So the butter and the herbamere spice, there's hardly anything else, you know, like that's all you needed to put in there. And it's delicious. The butter just gives it such great flavor. And if you have a really, really big cauliflower, you could um, put a little more butter in because there's no carbs in butter. This is such a great substitute for potatoes and it's just delicious. Now, and it, to me it doesn't taste the same as if you just steam cauliflower. If you add the little bit to it, it makes a world of a difference. So there you go. There's your mashed no potato cauliflower, mashed cauliflower, and it's delicious. I hope you go to my blog lowcarbrecipeideas.com and check it out and check out my other recipes that can go really well with this cauliflower. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye now.